I guess I was inspired to write the book in much the same way as I was inspired to write any of the others. I like to look at characters who live outside the norm a little bit. So characters that are a bit overlooked, people who are the quieter, more shadowed people in the world. I, I think it's difficult when you're a child to be one of those people. I think it's really important to be able to look around and see that you're not alone, that you are um, still a good person and a worthy person. So I thought that I would write a book, a picture book for that kind of child, a child that isn't very much like all the other children. I do have a personal connection to the characters. I guess um, as a writer, I always feel that to write convincingly, I have to have a connection to the characters to one degree or another. But this little kid, I do feel very connected to because it's the sort of child I was. I was very shy. I felt deeply inadequate. I lacked any degree of self-confidence. I thought I was stupid. I thought I was boring. And it's a difficult way to live when you're a little kid. It's, it's a difficult thing to have to carry. So yeah, I felt a lot for the, the child. Um, and, and I hope that any child that reads the book who is that kind of child will find some degree of camaraderie. I think the illustrations are great. Um, right from the very start, from the earliest drawings that I saw of Gabriel's that um, even weren't to do with, with Blue Flower, I thought he had that light touch that the book needs because the book is quite, um, the material is quite heavy. You know, a child who has no self-confidence, that's not the most cheery subject matter for a children's book. And so the illustrations needed to be quite light and they needed to do, to do the work of sort of lifting the text, which they do. And um, I think they're great. They're really cute. And even better, she looks a bit like I used to when I was a kid. Hi, my name is Gabriel Evans and I am a children's book author and illustrator of over 20 books. And this is my first book with Penguin Australia and my first time working with Sonia Harnett. Yeah, so I received the book uh, over a year ago and the story itself sort of blew me away. It was just a very beautiful, emotional story. And on my first reading through it, I thought, oh, can I illustrate this? Can I really capture the emotion being portrayed in the text? But at the same time, I was simultaneously getting this, these, just these images popping into my head. Um, and I was thinking, and I was getting excited by the possibilities with the illustrations. And yeah, it was, it was, it was, and that's such an important moment in that, those first few uh, times when you read the manuscript, kind of getting those images popping into your head. So for me, it was about getting to know the main character and that was through just drawing and painting as many times as possible. And the more I drew the character, the more I began to kind of get under the skin of that character and trying to capture the emotion of the character. And and I was working with several people, including Sonia, to try and find the right uh, voice for the character. And we finally settled on this beautiful little girl that is um, very quiet looking and has kind of like short dark hair. And we all thought that was the right fit. So I used watercolor a pencil with a touch of gouache. Gouache is like, is similar to watercolor. It's a thicker pigment, so if I wanted to come through with um, touches of a lighter colour, for instance in the book there are blue flowers and uh, those blue flowers are scattered uh, in a field of yellow and they were um, painted in with gouache so they would really stand out. So those are kind of my three uh, go-to mediums and watercolour is such an emotional medium and for me that's just, it's just it was the perfect fit for this book. Uh, there's a big landscape scene with a sunset and that probably took me two, three hours. Kind of knew where I was going with that piece and um, yeah, and it really came together well. The story of the Blue Flower is really about finding who you are and accepting who you are. Um, so this character really has a journey within herself of just um, coming to terms with the fact that she's different and that's okay. And 
you know, she uses the analogy of having a, finding a blue flower in a field of yellow. And for me, I think everyone's a blue flower in a field of yellow. Even the people that we think are the yellow flowers, they're blue flowers. We're all, we all kind of, we're all different. And it's just a matter of accepting that.